Hello everyone, so welcome to the lecture for the crystal field theory. As you can see on the screen that the CFT has actually won the poll. So make sure to have notification on in order to receive the very important polls. Okay, so in this video, I'll tell you, please watch it very fully because I will be discussing some of the best questions and the most importantly, the theory here. So first of all, I'll be taking the three basics and then we shall be moving on to the octahedral and the tetrahedral splitting along with the help of multiple examples. So uh, let us see the basics now. So bond between the central atom, like agar mein paas ML6 diya hua hai. So basically the bond between the metal and the ligand is considered to be purely electrostatic. Electrostatic matlab kya? Jo mere paas jo central atom hota hai, that is considered as a positive point charge and the ligand is considered to be a negative point charge. You can understand the logic. Ligand kya hota hai? Ligand electron deta hai. Okay, so that is why that is considered to be negatively charged species, a negative point charge basically. And this in the analogy is considered to be having a plus charge. Okay, now in a free metal ion, energy of all the 5D orbitals are equal. What I mean to say is that, I have D ke 5 orbitals, hote hai. every one of you knows that. Okay, whenever we have free metal ion, like I have manganese plus 2 hai, ya kuch bhi vanadium plus 2 hai, whatever. In those cases, we have the energy of all of these five orbitals to be equal. There is no difference in the energy. Please remember this point. These type of things are, these type of orbitals are also known as degenerate orbitals. Jaape energy same hoti hai basically. Okay. The third point is that there are five D orbitals which you all know. Dxy, Dyz, Dzx. These are known as the non axial d orbitals and these are known as the axial d orbitals mind you once again jab bhi mere paas koi bhi ligand nahi hota hai matlab mere paas free metal ion hota hai ye panch equal in energy hote hai okay now non axial are also known as these are t2g also known as t2g in this chapter and these are also known as E G. So these notations should be known to you. T to G directly. Un tino ko represent karne ke liye. And E G is directly used for the representation of these two. So now we have dealt with the important theory. Now let us move on to the part where we discuss the crystal field energy. Okay. So first of all, I'm orbital splitting in the coordination number is equal to six me dekhte which is the octahedral. Now I will be teaching you everything logically. So please make sure you understand it very well and take the notes along with me. Now what actually happens in this orbital splitting in CN is equal to 6, the ligands approaches along the axis. Please remember approaches along the axis. Now try to apply the logic. Now think, see ligands kya hote hai? Ligands are considered to be negatively charged species as I've told you here, negatively charged species. Okay, if they approach along the axis, Matlab, axis matlab kya? They are approaching along the axial orbitals basically. Okay, so axial orbitals are having what? Orbitals ke paas kya hote? Electrons hi to hote? Like you feel these. Okay, these are electrons only. So basically, the axial orbitals also have a negative charge. The ligands also have a negative charge as you can see. So basically, repulsion would happen. Okay, so when the ligands are approaching along the axis, the increase in the repulsion will happen in the Axial orbitals because wo pass mein hai, to pe jada repulsion hoga. So repulsion occurs in the axial orbitals or in the eg orbitals which I can write. So iska matlab kya hua? Repulsion bada. So iska matlab kya hua? Stability ghati. It increases the potential energy. Logically, if you have a building, let me say, okay, building hai mere paas. Okay, this is u is equal to zero, potential energy. If you take a ball at the lowest level, at the middle level, at the highest level, this ball is the most unstable because it has the highest potential energy. The similar thing I am saying here. Repulsion ki wajah se kya badega? Unstability badegi. Iska matlab kya hoga? Potential energy will increase. Unstability increases. Potential energy increases. Logically, everything is logical. Physics is hojo. Okay, so the similar thing is happening out here. The repulsion is increasing here. Iska matlab kya hoga? Yaan pe unstability bad rahi hai. It implies the potential energy will increase. So it implies that the axial orbitals will go to the higher energy which has been represented. So in the graph, what will happen? This is the axial orbitals which go higher in the energy. Let me write it EG. 
ओके एंड सिमिलरली इन द लोअर वन वी विल हैव द टी टू जी जो बच रहा है दैट विल गो इन द लोअर डायरेक्शन सो बेसिकली राइट फ्रॉम हेयर दिस इज डी एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर एंड दिस इज डी जेड स्क्वायर एक्जुअल ऑर्बिटल्स हेयर वी हैव डी एक्स वाई डी वाई जेड डी जेड एक्स ओके सो आई होप दैट दिस लॉजिक इज क्लियर टू यू Now let us deal with the energies here. See, we take potential energy is equal to zero at this point, which is also known as the Barry center. Okay, so this energy, the difference from u is equal to zero to this point, is the uh, magnitude which is three by five delta naught. Okay, and similarly in the lower direction we will have two by five delta naught. Okay, these values should be remembered. The logic to understand here is that the net energy should be equal to delta naught. Which is totally true. Okay, in many books you will see minus two by five and plus three by five. That is due to the direction we are taking. If I am already representing the direction in the lower direction, then it is not required to represent the magnitude of the negative charge. Okay, so what actually happens is, मेरे पास free metal का tie दिया है, ligands आए, so it will raise in energy, and then it further splits, which has been represented here. Okay. The mathematical formula for the CFAC is minus 0.4 into T to G. Now see why minus 0.4. You can see in the lower direction we are going. So 2 by 5 is basically 0.4. Lower direction gives me a negative sign. And similarly, if we go in the above direction, we will get a 3 by 5, which is 0.6 eg. Okay, eg upper hai. Isle hum eg le rahe. The number of electrons basically into delta naught plus x into p. Okay, what is p? P is basically the pairing energy. X implies the numbers of pair formed. Okay, this will be clear with the help of this question that P or X होते क्या हैं. Please understand this question very well. It is very important. You need to calculate the CFSC for the complex ion Cr H two O six plus two. Given that delta naught is this. Now see, delta naught has been given as centimeter inverse. You will understand the logic. And P has been given as twenty three thousand five hundred centimeter inverse. Okay, that will be clear. Okay, now its electronic configuration. Look, Cr kya hota hai? Three D five four S one. Cr plus two kya ho jayega? Three D four and four S zero. So three D four aa raha hai mere pas. Now, now you have to understand the cases here. We have delta naught and P as the energies. So we can have mathematically three cases. Delta naught is greater than P. Delta naught is less than P. Delta naught is equal to P. So if delta naught is greater than P, this का मतलब क्या हुआ? The energy is greater than the pairing energy. So it implies that pairing will occur. Why the pairing will occur? Because this is greater than this. This का मतलब this is lower in magnitude. So this will be achieved faster in comparison to this particular thing. So that is why pairing can occur. Similarly, in the second case, pairing wouldn't occur. Okay, because delta naught is uh, less than p, so it implies that pa pairing energy is higher. So obviously, that will be more difficult to achieve. And this case, we need to see according to the ligands or whatever has been given to you in the question. So these are the two main conditions which should be known to you. So here, what have I given? Here, here we have delta naught and p. So p is greater than delta naught in this particular question. This means what will happen? Pairing, sorry, yes, pairing wouldn't occur. Pairing wouldn't occur as I told you the logic. Okay, because lower energy is easier to achieve. Okay, that is the logic. So pairing wouldn't occur. So CFSC क्या हो जाएगा? CFSC first of all इसकी electronic configuration लिखो. इस चीज की electronic configuration क्या हो जाएगी? This one, two, three, four, five, four electrons which are placed here. First three are what? First three basically are T two G and the next two are basically E G. Okay. Now next one is that T two G. Me, I have three electrons, hai, and here we have one electron. We have zero minus zero point four into T two G. So T two G. Me, how many? Me, I have three. So minus zero point four into three plus zero point six into E G. E G. Me, how many? Me, I have only one electron. So we will have zero point six into E G into delta naught. Let me write it delta naught plus X into P. See X into P. वहाँ पे X क्या होता है? Number of pairs formed. So initially मेरे पास zero pairs थी. Finally also भी zero pairs हैं because मेरे पास strong field ligand नहीं है. So that is why we would have the number of pairs to be formed as zero. So we get zero into P whatever. So CFSC would be equal to minus one point two plus zero point six. So by that is equal to zero point six into delta naught. Okay. So zero point six into delta naught क्या है? 
12,600 सेंटीमीटर इनवर्स ओके इसको मल्टीप्लाई किया सो वी विल गेट द वैल्यू एज 7560 सेंटीमीटर इनवर्स लेट अस ट्राई टू कन्वर्ट दिस इन द मीटर इनवर्स सो मीटर इनवर्स में क्या हो जाएगा 7560 एंड 0 बिकॉज़ दो और जीरो आ जाएंगे मीटर इनवर्स नाउ नाउ वी हैव द सीएफएससी इन द वैल्यू ऑफ मीटर इनवर्स What is the logic here? Meter inverse basically होता क्या है वी नो एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू एच सी बाय लैमडा सो बेसिकली हमें वन बाय लैमडा की वैल्यू दी है सो एच सी इन टू म्यू बार विच इज नोन एज द वेब नंबर ओके सो वेब नंबर की वैल्यू हमें दी हुई है दैट इज द लॉजिक विच यू नीड टू अप्लाई फ्रॉम हेयर सो एच क्या है मेरे पास एच इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन एस टू पार माइनस थर्टी फोर सी क्या है इंटू थ्री इंटू टेन एस टू पार एट सो एच सी इंटू म्यू म्यू क्या है मेरे पास म्यू इज इक्वल टू सेवन फाइव सिक्स जीरो 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 मीटर इनवर्स ओके लेट एस ट्राई टू कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू जूल बेसिकली ओके सो जूल में कन्वर्ट करने की कोशिश करते हैं सो इन टू सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू इन टू टेन एस टू पार ट्वेंटी थ्री सो मैं आपसे मेरे पास जूल पर मोल रिलेशन आ गया मेरे पास ओके वी आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट पर मोल बेसिकली ओके सो दैट थिंग विल बेसिकली बी इक्वल टू नाइनटी पॉइंट वन वन इन टू टेन एस टू पार थ्री जूल पर मोल so this is how we are trying to find out for per mole that is how we have done this thing okay so per mole itna aa gaya in joules this is how you solve the questions which are based on the cfsc please remember that this question is very important i hope you have understood it now let me discuss the part for the tetrahedral splitting so orbital splitting in cn is equal to 4 which is tetrahedral now logically kya hota hai isme logic kya hai yahan pe in this arrangement the ligand approaches the metal बिटवीन द एक्सेस मतलब बिटवीन द एक्सेस प्लीज रिमेंबर इट इज नॉट अलॉन्ग द एक्सेस इट अप्रोचिंग बिटवीन द एक्सेस विच जनरेट द रिपल्शन इन नॉन एक्जियल ऑर्बिटल्स सो दिस इज द लॉजिक पहले वाले में रिपल्शन वॉज इन द एक्जियल ऑर्बिटल्स इन दिस केस द रिपल्शन विल बी इन द नॉन एक्जियल ऑर्बिटल्स ओके सो वी हैव टू टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स टी टू जी एंड ई जी ओके सो टी टू जी वॉज द नॉन एक्जियल ई जी वॉज द एक्जियल सो नॉन एक्जियल में रिपल्शन हो रहा है सो दैट विल गो टू द हाइयर एनर्जी टी टू जी सिमिलरली नीचे क्या आ जाएगा मेरे पास नीचे आई वुड गेट ई जी दिस मैग्नीट्यूड इज टू बाई फाइव डेल्टा नॉट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड हेयर इट इज थ्री बाय फाइव डेल्टा नॉट इन द लोअर डायरेक्शन ओके सो दिस इज इनफ फॉर द टेटर हेडल स्प्लेटिंग द पॉइंट टू रिमेंबर हेयर इज दैट वंस अगेन The relation between tetrahedral tetrahedral splitting and octahedral splitting is four by five delta naught. Mathematically, कैसे आता है ये? This can be written as two by three into two by three delta naught basically. Okay. Now why this two by three comes? Why? Because we have the number of ligands, number of ligands of octahedral as here. Now what I mean to say is that टेट्राहेड्रल में कितने लीगेंट्स होते हैं फोर ऑब्वियसली ऑक्टाहेड्रल में कितने होते हैं सिक्स सो रिलेशन बिटवीन दीज टू क्या हो जाएगा टू बाई थ्री इंटू सिक्स करो तुम तो क्या जाएगा वी गेट फोर सो दैट इज वाई टू बाई थ्री ऑफ ऑक्टाहेड्रल कर रहे हैं हम टू बाई थ्री ऑफ ऑक्टाहेड्रल कर रहे हैं तो मेरे पास टेट्राहेड्रल के नंबर ऑफ लीगेंट्स आ रहे हैं सो दैट इज वाई टू बाई थ्री हैज बिन प्लेस्ड हेयर ओके एंड दिस इज प्लेस्ड बिकॉज दीज अरेंजमेंट इन दिस अरेंजमेंट दीज आर नॉट अप्रोचिंग नॉट एग्जैक्टली approaching along the axis it approaches between the axis like between the axis not exactly along the axis that is why a 2 by 3 has been placed instead of an exact one okay so that is why this fraction also comes so this relation should also be known to you okay so this question is a homework for you please practice this question and mention in the comment section ki tumhara answer kya aa raha hai note the point note the point that jo delta not hai that is greater than p in this particular case in spite in the previous question we had the opposite p is greater than delta not here we have delta not is greater than p so this question is given so that you can cover the exact questions which come in the examinations please mention in the comment section ki iska answer kya aa raha hai in kilo joule per mole okay so i would see that how many people are actually able to solve it if you are able to solve it it definitely means that tumhara cfsc cleared from the mains and even the advanced point of view so please don't forget to like the video is there any doubts please ask me in the comment section so thank you and all the best